You guys are fucking weird. That's all I gotta say. Mainly I'm just talking about the battle video I posted Wednesday. You guys are weird. Really, really weird. Really weird. But, uh, yeah, you guys are weird. Just remember that. Also, if... Since I know I got some Minnesota fans who probably play Yu-Gi-Oh! If you play Yu-Gi-Oh! and you're going to regionals in Maplewood tomorrow, I'm going to be there because regionals. So if you want to meet me or hang out with me, I'm there. So just an FYI. But anyways, hey guys, this is We got a match here today against Congressional Wombat, aka Zoe. It is a 4th Gen OU match, so uh, you guys probably have already seen my team by now. So I don't need to go into it. And really, it's just here because I need talking time. So just ignore her team. For now, unless you really want the knowledge of her team, so she knows what she's thinking. But, uh, anyways, we're getting to the match. Got my spec strain lead. She's also got a heat train lead. I don't want to risk her just going for earth power or her, uh, you know, being faster than me in any way. She does just go straight for earth power, and I go to dragon it, and I notice that she switches. So that means either she doesn't have HPS or dragon pulse, or she was just predicting the earthquake, or she specs. But I figure, okay, let's get up a Dragon Dance. I'll probably be her only Steel type. But no, she has the Bronzong also, so I'm like, shit, I gotta switch out. Go into Swampert, because I know I can take any hit and then get up my Stealth Rocks. She goes for HP Ice, which really wasn't common on Bronzong back at the end of 4th Gen. So it was just kind of weird, because there was no Men's Dragonite usually you could deal with. But I guess some people really hit a Dragonite that much. But anyways, uh, we both just lay up Rocks. And then I decided to Roar out, because I do not want that Bronzong in, because I do not have a Water Move to take it on. So... I decided to roar out. She went out to Vaporeon. I'm like, alright, cool. But then I roar right back out to Bronzong. And I'm like, no, get out of here, Bronzong. And she switches out again, thinking that Bronzong is not threatening a Swampert. But I can't do anything to Bronzong, so it's just like, fuck. But I roar into a Rotom, and I don't want this thing in either, because it's like, seriously, I, I really wish I had a Water Move right now, but instead, I have Roar, an Ice Beam, an Earthquake. So basically, I had a standard set. I just didn't have a Water Move, which... Really, back in 4th gen, you generally didn't carry a water move on Swampert half the time, but it's really all preference in the end, and it's just right now, <laughs> I don't have the best ways to deal with Bronzong, but uh, here I decided to switch out to Machamp, because I figure, okay, well maybe Machamp can do something. Also, a Rotom Shadow Ball got a special defense drop, so she goes for HP Ice, wanting to capitalize on that special defense drop, but uh, my Machamp does have a pretty good investment in a uh, special defense, so I take that fairly okay. Go for Dynamic Punch, even though I knew Rotom would come in, I figured I should be able to take it on well enough that I really don't need to go for a uh, payback right away. But uh, she's going to go for Charge Beam, thinking, hey, I can live a payback and then get a special attack boost and then kill him. But I go for payback, and uh, it'll do a lot of damage at the very least, because it is a payback. But I do get a crit, and uh, she told me, though, that she was a Charge Beam set. Well, obviously, you saw she was a Charge Beam set, but that does imply... That she is a more offensive-oriented Rotom, which I did run a damage calc. Most likely didn't matter that I got a crit, but in the end, stupid shit. But she goes into Heatran, thinks I'm going to switch out predicting the overheat. But really, at this point, I was just like, maybe Machamp can live a hit. If it doesn't, then I get a free switch. So I might as well capitalize on any potential free switch, thinking, hey, I might not need Machamp anymore. Which, in reality, Machamp will still be useful, but I was like... Like, I shouldn't need it as much as I could, so we'll just do that. But she goes out to her... Uh, well, first of all, I kill off the Heatran, which is really nice, so now I don't got to worry about her Heatran. I can have a little more freedom with my my own Heatran, but, uh, brings in Dragonite. Can I go out to Swampert? In case she Dragon Dances, I have a chance of taking a hit and then killing her with Ice Beam, or I can just use Swampert as Death Water, go out to Jirachi to kill her, but, uh, she goes for Draco Meteor, which is really good for me, actually. I mean, sure, I lose Swampert, but now she's at minus two, she's ne so now she's going to be scared out by, uh, Gengar, so I go into Gengar, Get a sub up, because I know she's probably going to switch out, knowing that her full moveset is Draco Meteor, Fire Blast, Extreme Speed, and then either Earthquake or Superpower. So she can't hit me from the physical side, so she might as well switch out since she's at minus two. And goes into Bronzong, and I got a sub up, and then I just Shadow Ball, because I just want to get as much damage off as possible on this thing, because that would be useful. And here I probably make a kind of stupid play. I'm thinking, okay, maybe I won't need Gengar as much, so I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball, get some more damage off, and then I could probably kill her off with the Machamp, and I shouldn't need the Gengar anymore, well, as you'll see later, I was sadly mistaken, and I'm kind of stupid. But then again, what else is new? I'm always stupid. But, uh, yeah, lose Gengar, go to Machamp, figure, okay, Dynamic Punch can take it out, so let's just go for it, and if it doesn't take it out, I can take another hit and then take it out. But, I take it out. So that's that. I don't know. But now, she's gonna go into her, uh, Dragonite, that is gonna just Draco Meteor me to death, because I'm at below half, so there's no way I'm going to be able to live this. A Swampert couldn't live it above half, 
even with my special defense investment, my champ can't live it under half, and it's still a stab Dragon Meteor from a probably max special attack Dragonite. But I go to my own Dragonite because I'm thinking, hey, she'll predict me to predict the extreme speed, thinking I can set up a Dragon Dance, and she'll just get some nice damage off with Dragon Meteor. So I just Dragon Claw, knowing about speed, and just take her the fuck out. So that Dragonite's dead. I didn't have to take any extra damage, which is actually really important because right here she goes into this Infernape, and I see Stone Edge, and I'm like, fuck! I don't have much for Infernape, and I see the Stone Edge, I'm like, shit, but I live it barely. So if she did Extreme Speed with her Dragonite, she would have gotten that damage off to kill off my Dragonite, but I luckily live that Stone Edge, and then I take her out with Earthquake, and that's also where Gengar could have come in handy, because obviously Gengar at speeds, and she wouldn't have been able to take me out with anything, because she wouldn't have any way to outspeed and kill me, but I take her out with Earthquake, so that means all she's got left is Vaporeon, which really... Kind of wish I still kept Machamp around, or even Gengar, because both of them would have been useful for Vaporeon in a sense, but I see she goes for Surf, implying either her last move is either HP Electric, or she thought I'd switch out, or she doesn't have Ice Beam, basically. But uh, I go for Dragon Claw just to gauge damage. Really, at this point, it's like, whatever, but she goes for Toxic. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I really don't care. I mean, really, right now, I just need either to switch to Jirachi or Heatran, because I just need to get off... Uh, you know, electric and grass moves with them, because Heatran, I just got the specs HP grass, Drachi, I can just Thunder Punch a bunch, plus I know Heatran can live one Surf at the very least, so not really too concerned with living hit, but uh, she goes for Wish, and she figures, hey, she might be able to live hit, so she's just going to try and hit me with the Surf as I go for HP grass, or she was just hoping I wouldn't have HP grass, but I have it, and I'm specs, so that means I get to take her out, so that'll kind of make it be the match, so GG, Zoe, that was uh, fun, fourth gen is always super happy fun times. I really should 4th gen a bit more, but it's... fourth Finding 4th fourth gen games is always weird, because it's like... I don't know. People are weird about it, but... 4th gen is pretty fucking cool. I should probably actually make some new teams for 4th gen. I've been neglecting it, just because, like I said, I don't get that many 4th gen games, but... It might be worth it if I make some more 4th gen teams. So I actually might do that sometime, but... For now, um, my mind's been on Yu-Gi-Oh! because regionals, but... uh, Yeah, that'll be it for today. Um... May have a new series coming up in the near future, so I guess look out for that, question mark. I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, except such blah, rate, comment, sub, and later, guys.